Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette and this is part one of using homemade soft foam stamps of birds, flowers, leaves, etc. and making up some beautiful jelly plate printed backgrounds and putting them all together as a collage. It's going to be a lot of fun so stick with me. We have three great images to do. And I've just finished making these beautiful bird stamps out of soft foam. As you know, I mount them on the cardboard and use a bit of tape just so that they're easy pressed down. Now you'll find these images available to you via my email, so just let me know if you'd like them. So first of all, I'm going to roll out my black paint, use my jelly plane as a stamp pad, and I'm going to just stamp some of these bird stamps down and I'm going to be popping them on some other jelly printed backgrounds. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be using some other stamps as well. Okay, let's begin. Give it a nice press down on the paint and see what we get for our first image. And yes, beautiful, lovely little bird. And again, lovely little bird. Get another sheet of paper and we'll stamp some more. Beautiful. Another piece of paper down. As I mentioned, I'm going to be cutting these out and I can also add some shading and things to them if I want to, reduce the size of the white lines and just bring them up looking a little bit better. There we go, <laughs> his little beak needs colouring in more. Okay, so when they've dried, I'm going to cut them out and then I'll be back to start the project. Just remembering when we're cutting out our stamped images for this particular project, we're going to be leaving the white border around them. So it's just a simple process as usual and just leaving enough white border so that it will show in our final project. Okay, there we go. So you can see we're leaving our little white edge around our birds. And in here I have all the little leaves and things that I'm going to be using. And I will draw them out for you if you would like and you'll have them available to you as well via the same email. So what I'm going to do, you can see my stamps are already completed here. If you don't know how to make the stamps, please check out my first stamp making video. I'll leave a link to that down below. And with these, I'm going to stamp them on a piece of paper, which I'll show you in a moment. And I'm going to be leaving the white edge around every stamped image for this particular project. So just adding the green to the jelly plate for all our green stamps. Roll out there. Add a little bit of water. It's very dry here today.
So this is really good. We've got all our green stamping that we need done now and we'll be cutting those out later. I won't cut them out on the camera because that's very boring. So I'll bring them back all cut out. And I'm just going to now do some blue because we're doing a blue image as well. And I'll also do some pink and silver with these stamps as well. So just a little bit of blue paint for our blue stamp. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Okay, get our stamp. We're going to take this one up and roll him out there if there was any paint on him. Now what I want to do is also get the imprint of him here. So I'm going to just take this one. So I'm going to use both the negative and the positive of the stamp this time around for the blue image that I'll show you a little bit later. So a little bit more paint here. Now I'm just going to get this stamp and I'm going to roll it. See if we can't get some of this one. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to stamp him down here, right roll. Him up and down here, stamp here again. Okay, this is going really well. Now I'm going to pick up this image again, roll this off on here. Wonderful, we're getting such lovely effects. So, as I said, I'll be using the negative and positive of this stamp and using that for the blue image that we will be doing as well. Okay, just going to start stamping some silver and pink flowers for our lovely pink and silver collage that we'll be doing with our blackbird. Stamping down. And of course I'm going to pick up a little bit of this because I think this will look beautiful. And we might be able to use this for the background image for our pink collage. Just gorgeous. Love the colours. Okay, put that aside. And we'll get some more of that paint on here. Going to add a little bit brighter pink. Beautiful. I can't resist. I'm going to have to pull that print as well. It just looks so beautiful. I think I'm going to have lots of lovely backgrounds for these. And there we go. And we'll be working on top of these. A little bit more of that brighter pink now. A couple more really bright ones just to add to them. Okay, so that's all the stamping we need to do. Wonderful, we're going to have a lot to cut out and with these ones I think we've even got our backgrounds. So we'll see. So this has been a lot of fun, stamping all our images and things that we need for part two. 
and I look forward to seeing you there shortly where we put everything together and make some beautiful art. So thank you for watching. Hope you've had a happy arty time. Stay safe. Bye for now.